Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Uh, by the way, those of you who might be checking in with the impossible question, uh, get back to us in about uh, five or six, maybe seven minutes from right now. Before that, we're going to say Happy New Year and the best to uh, Bristol Community College President Laura Douglas. Hey, Laura, good morning. Good morning, Hack. Happy New Year. Yes, you as well. And I hope it'll be a, a happy and a healthy one for you with these uh, crazy times <laughs> that we have. My goodness. Whoa. It has yeah, been... these are crazy times, but we'll get through it, won't we? We will. And uh, thanks uh, for, to Bristol Community College for a bunch of things you're doing. But one of the things you have been doing is uh, providing the venue for all of the great uh, uh, the great uh, vaccines that you've been, uh, that uh, the folks from the, uh, I'm sure from, uh, well, Stop and Shop have been helping uh, quite a bit, but then, uh, but the state has provided lots of vaccines and uh, boosters and uh, flu shots and lots of other stuff. And you've got a major clinic coming up, a COVID-19 flu vaccination clinic happening on Wednesday the 12th. How can folks participate? Well, yes, you know, we try to make it as easy as possible for our community. And so on Wednesday, January 12th, from noon to 4 p.m. on our Fall River campus and H building, which is our Margaret uh, Margaret Jackson Arts Center. Um, we will be having a clinic that is open to Bristol students, Bristol employees, and of course, the general public, uh, those who are, are 12 years of age and older. Uh, we will be vaccinating those who have not been vaccinated, uh, as well as those who qualify for a booster. Uh, and we're giving out Pfizer, Moderna, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccines and boosters. And for those who still have not gotten their flu shots, you can get a flu shot too. So uh, no appointments are necessary. Just walk in and we have a wonderful partner with Stop and Shop. We just ask that uh, you bring a valid ID and your insurance card, but the vaccines are free. Excellent. Boy, huh? You doesn't get better than that. Talk about uh, making it easy and and the price is right. That's right. The price is right. And we know that everybody needs a booster. You know, uh, it's so important with this Omicron variant that people get boosted. They just don't have the immunity without that booster. So we, we're trying to do everything we can to get people boosted. Now, you are beginning the, the new year. Obviously, it's something we talked about uh, maybe about a month ago, maybe two months ago. Uh, if you're going to uh, Bristol Community College, you will need to be vaccinated. Have I got that right? That's right. And that is if you want to do uh, any face-to-face -face, uh, uh, classes or face-to-face uh, -face services. So uh, we've had great response from our students, faculty, and staff. In fact, we're so delighted. Uh, and this really helps us get back to a so much more of a normal situation in the classroom. So yes, it is new and uh, we're excited to be able to provide our students and, and employees with such great, uh, such a great level of safety. All right. Excellent. Now, let's uh, talk about, uh, you know, uh, student parents uh, these days are trying to balance an awful lot, pursuing an education and all the family responsibilities. Uh, let's uh, do a little bit of, a, you know, at least a quick review of, uh, about Bristol's Parenting Advancing Pathways Program. I know this began what last year sometime, right, 2021. Yes, it did. And, you know, most people are really surprised, heck, that about half of all American college students are parents these days. And that's because we have a lot of adult learners. You know, it used to be that tr traditional age student was 18 to 20, 18 to 22 or somewhere in that range. But nowadays, so many, um, uh, older adults are coming back to college, which is so important. They know the difference between a college degree and a high school degree. In in terms of career sustainability and income. So about half of all college students tend to be parents these days, and that means a lot of balancing. So we have a Parenting Advancement Pathways Program. Uh, it's a cohort of students, and they get 
uh, mentoring uh, through um, uh, with uh, community mentors. They also uh, it's a case management type of a program where they have a an advisor who provides financial and career planning, gives them counseling, and of course academic support services, career services, and it helps uh, any student that might be a parent. Uh, specifically, though, we're looking for for those who are uh, single, uh, head of household. It can be uh, fathers and mothers, obviously. Uh, also low income, and um, we're also hoping to recruit as many BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and people of color students as well. Uh, so right now, we have a, a cohort of 16 students, and um, the, if you're a parent out there listening and going to school or wanting to go to school, I hope, hope you'll give us a call uh, because we would love to get you into our parenting program with all these wonderful wraparound uh, services. Uh, so have a mentor, have uh, extra support, and then there's also a financial incentive that we give a, a $200 uh, award to those who participate uh, regularly in, in the program, and that helps with books and tuition and other things like that. All so right. a great opportunity. Excellent. Thank you, Laura, very much. Uh, Laura Douglas, Bristol Community College President, uh, wish you and your, your staff, everybody at uh, Bristol Community College, a happy, healthy new year. And we'll see you in February. All right, Heck. Happy New Year. You too. Take care.